Joining us now is CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. I want to take this out of the political arena and put it into real life for a little while. We're talking about an awful lot of people who are very dependent on this, a lot because this economy, the rebound hasn't happened the way so many people anticipated it. Harry, you're, you're making a really valid point there, which is that many millions of people have been unemployed for more than six months. It's a problem that has lasted a lot longer for a lot of people. And so when they lose those $309 checks on a weekly basis, mm -hmm. it not only has an impact on them individually, but it also has an impact on the economy overall. And that's because when people get unemployment checks, research has shown it usually goes directly back into the economy. Mm -hmm. So if you're unemployed, you get a check, you spend that check immediately as opposed to putting it in the bank and letting it sit there. It's very interesting. We talk about unemployment numbers a lot. The unemployment uh, rate right now is 9.5%. Uh, uh, it's finally below 10%, but it seems to be languishing in this sort of state of, it's, it's really so much higher than we've we're really accustomed to. It is much higher than we're accustomed to, and that 9.5% number equates to about 14.6 million people who are out of work. 8.5 million of them lost their jobs as a result of the recession. And what's also scary about that number is that it doesn't equate to numerous people who have given up Mm. for looking for work and who aren't collecting unemployment benefits and who aren't accounted for in the system. So it's actually an even larger problem than what the numbers show. Rebecca Jarvis, as always, thank you so much to appreciate it.